Hi guys, today I will be showing you some tips how to use your Mac like a pro. So the first tip is quick shutdown or restart or sleep your Mac with command, not physical click. What I mean is you just use command. For example, if you want to restart, just type restart and your Mac will be restarted. You want to shut down. So just type shut down and when you see it is at the top selected, which means you just enter it will shut down so you just use command instead of physical click like this this is physical click that would save you a lot of time also you can use this command to empty the trash bin as well like instead of right click on the trash bin and empty trash like this you just use the command empty trash so right now you can see on my trash there seem to be trash in it if i click on this to see what i have in in my trash i have these files that i want to delete from my trash to save some space i don't have to right click on it and click empty trash i just use my command empty trash click enter now it's gone click on the trash you see it saves you a lot of time as well and you can also quit all the apps by typing quit all apps it's at the top which means it's selected you just click enter all the apps will be deleted so for example you run a lot of apps and you want to shut all of those apps down before you shut down your computer you don't have to go one by one to quit the app you just type the command this command and it will quit all apps this is the first tip and to be able to do that you need to have a program called Alfred this one it looks like this if you want to know more about Alfred I will have the link to watch another video about Alfred so this is the first tip the second tip is to share Wi-Fi from your iPhone or iPad on the go so sometimes you go to an area or to a location where Wi-Fi is not available but you want to access internet in your Mac so you want to share Wi-Fi from your phone to your Mac to be able to access the internet so to do so it's very easy with Mac OS Sierra and iOS 10 what you have to do is your phone and your Mac are signed in with the same iCloud account so I have this iCloud account here on my Mac signed in and on my iPhone you do the same iCloud you see the same name so you have to sign in the same iCloud account for both your Mac and your iPhone or iPad and after you sign in with the same iCloud account to be able to share you need to turn on two things one is Wi-Fi the other one is Bluetooth Turn both of these on your Mac and also do the same with your iPhone. So I will turn on my Bluetooth as well. Okay, now it's on. So after you turn on both Wi Fi and Bluetooth for both your Mac and your iPhone, you just click on your Wi Fi and you can see here this is a personal hotspot and it put iPhone LTE. So imagine that right now you are on the way, you are somewhere without Wi Fi. So just click that. You will see this option you just click on it you can see on the phone it's turned blue at the top which means it's connected and you see i don't have to type in the password but you need to to have your i devices connected to the same icloud account to be able to, to use this feature quickly without typing the password now you can use your personal hotspot as a Wi-Fi on the go. So this is the second tip. Let's move on to the third tip. So the third tip is get free storage back. As you know that after you, you've been using your Mac for quite some time, you your Mac will eventually build up junk files. So it will consume your space in your Mac. To be able to get the storage back, you need to have an app called Clean My Mac. This app, it looks like this. Let me show you here. You need to have Clean My Mac 3. With this app, you'll be able to get some storage back. So you just click scan here. As you can see, it starts scanning and it found 827 in Keep Rising. Okay, it finished scanning. So right now, I have 832.6 megabytes of storage they can clean and get it back so to get this amount of storage back just click clean and because I'm running Safari I have to turn it off quit now I get 832.6 megabyte back let's move on to tip number four how to install all third-party applications with just one command how do you do that if you're running Mac OS version below Mac OS Sierra you don't need this command but with Mac OS Sierra Apple has tightened its security so for third-party applications that you have downloaded from the internet it will not work on Mac OS Sierra after you install it when you click on it it will say the file is corrupted or 
or the file have to be removed to the, the trash bin which means you cannot use it but there is one command that will allow you to install all of those applications that you have downloaded from the internet to do that you just go to terminal so you can find terminal here here terminal or to save time just click command space to activate spotlight search or if you already have the alfred just click option space for me my hotkey you may have different hotkey it depends on you just type in terminal here now you're in terminal so you now you're acting like a pro you're using command but don't worry this command is simple so you just type in sudo sudo spctl space dash or two hyphens and then master hyphen disable and then you click enter and they ask you to type in your password password that you use to log in to your mac let me type in mine done after you type in this command if you go to security and privacy here on macOS Sierra if you don't type what I type at the moment you will not see the last option anywhere you will see only two options app store and app store and identify developer after you type in that command that I've shown you at the moment you will see one more option anywhere and then you can install any apps that you have downloaded from the internet so this is tip number four let's move on to tip number five how do you download uh, youtube hd videos offline like some videos on youtube you like it so much you want to download it offline to do so you just need to have an application it's called keep with music so you need to have keep with music this app will allow you to download full hd video on youtube for free so what you have to do is just copy the link from the video address let me show you let's see for example i like this video any video you like just select the link you click command C to copy the link and go back to the app you see it's automatically copied here for you but if it doesn't just copy here but usually it will copy automatically once you click on this it will copy it here for you and you want to download video just click mp4 but also to get HD video you also have to go to settings to get the highest resolution to the download here desired YouTube video quality so choose the one that you want click OK and then you click download here we will start downloading that video for you after it's done you can watch the video offline this is tip number five let's move on to tip number six the tip number six is sometimes you want to install some applications that are only available on your PC but you want to use those apps on your Mac unfortunately some of those apps does not exist on Mac or because the developer of the apps don't make it for Mac so you cannot use those apps but there is one way that you can install PC apps on Mac so to install PC apps on Mac you need to have this application called crossed over so I have PC application on, on my external hard drive so I have to plug it in to install you just click install a Windows application because you have installer file you just click the second one select installer and if you have a folder you can click choose installation folder if you don't just click choose installer file this is what I'm gonna do and find where you keep the file in software so I want to install this application called Cambridge advanced learner dictionary this one only available on PC it's not available on Mac this dictionary is very good so I want it to be running on my Mac just click the setup file and use this installer and click continue and it will ask you what kind of application is it so so just to save time you just click unlisted application click continue and here you say install and finish just click install it will start installing the application all you have to do is just waiting you just install like on your PC the same thing finish the installation unlisted application completed click done in your Mac application you will see it here it make it like an, a Mac application this crossover app is the best app for installing PC application on Mac I used to try the wine skin but it is not as good as this app this app also creates shortcut for you as well here so you click it here you see it runs just like on the PC and look at the graphic because it's a PC the graphic is not really good it's not retina display so yeah but you can use it we show you here so it works just fine. You can click to, to hear the sound, the pronunciation. Play. Play. You see, it worked perfectly. So this is tip number six for how you can install PC applications 
on your Mac and this will work on most of the applications I think including games as well you can install games using this app PC games so let's move to tip number seven tip number seven is how to control your Mac slide presentation with an iPhone I think for most of you if you've been using Mac for a long time or for sometimes you may be able to know how to do that using your iPhone to control your Mac presentation so to do that it's easy you just have to have here keynote so like I have uh, my keynote presentation here you also have to have Keynote app on your iDevice as well. So you need to install Keynotes on your Mac and on your iPhone to be able to control it. So just open it. And at the top you will see next to the plus sign, you will see a small icon of an iPhone with play sign. Click on that. And now you can see here, uh, it's a Keynote remote. You're ready to control the slideshow on MacBook Pro. So you click play. You can see on my, my Mac, when I click play, it starts the slideshow, the presentation. And you can see on my iPhone, I can see the first and the second slide at the same time so that I can prepare myself when you start talking. You just click on your iPhone screen and it will start to show each point of your presentation based on how you set the transitions. Click again, it will show another point. So, it's very convenient and you also can draw as well at the top you can see it looks like a marker you can use marker any marker here to draw on your slide as well you can see I'm just drawing on it and also you can use laser to point on your slide And one thing I, that I forgot to tell you is to be able to control the presentation slides on your Mac, you need to have both your Mac and your, your iPhone connected to the same Wi-Fi. If you don't connect to the same Wi-Fi, it won't work. So that is one drawback of this, this tip. You just have to have both your Mac and your iPhone connected to the same Wi-Fi to be able to control it. So this is tip number seven. Let's move on to tip number eight. So tip number eight is how to quickly detect unknown songs. Imagine like you walk into a coffee bar, you're drinking coffee while listening to music and doing your work and suddenly you hear a song that you like but you don't know the title of the song there is a simple I think most people already know it you need to have an application called Shazam Shazam will help you detect any songs Shazam is now finding music around you so whatever music or song it hears it will show you the title play a music and let's see how it detects the music Okay, you can see it detects the title of the song and show you here. I know you were trouble. So it tells you the title of the song, the artist, and where you can find it. You can try this app by yourself. So this is tip number eight for how you can quickly detect unknown songs using your Mac. The last and the final tip that I'm going to show you today is how you can transfer all files back and forth between your iPhone, iPad, iPod, and your Mac conveniently without using iTunes. As you know that iTunes somehow is suck. I mean, for transferring videos, music transferring app it's really sad i have the best alternative for you this is called iMazing this one here just download it iMazing you can transfer music one or two or as many as you like you can also copy photo as well video you can copy into it to watch you can do a lot of things here like backing up your contact you can explore it by yourself with this app you can easily and conveniently transfer back and forth any files between your iphone and your mac Okay, that's it guys. These are tips for how to use your Mac like a pro. If you like the video, please click like, comment down below and subscribe for more useful video in the future. Have a great day guys. See you in the next video.